The next task after you draw object lines and hidden lines are to draw center lines for the object. There is a note regarding center lines you need to know first, so let me read this. Center lines extend beyond the hole or object at least one-fourth of an inch away. So extend all center lines beyond the object in which they are located. Center lines may or may not show the pattern when the lines are too short in length. This is why the command LTS is set to 0 0.5 or 1.0. If we recall, LTS is the line type scale command. You need to change this to change the pattern frequency of things like center lines and hidden lines. This drawing is a small one, so we need to change the LTS to 0.5. So I'm going to type in the command LTS and type in 0.5. The default value is 1.0. I'm going to set it to 1.0 first, make the center line layer current, and with ortho mode on and the line command, we're going to take advantage of our alignment of our lines, such as this, for example. Here's the center of the circle. Here's another one. Extend them to both the visible lines and the hidden lines. There'll be center lines going through here. Go ahead and pass by the miter line and bring it down to here to find where it belongs over here. Do the same for the slots. If you already have some lines that exist, use the grips and stretch them out. Slots do not have a hidden line in the middle of the object like you might assume here. The hidden lines refer to the semicircles you see here. I'll extend them to the right side view as well. The fillets will also have center lines. These fillets are the ones that have a radius of three-fourths of an inch, which is why you see me extending these center lines beyond the object and as far as possible to the object on the outside. In reality, this one does not need to go out to the far end because it only extends one-fourth of an inch beyond this feature. To extend an object line to a specific distance, just point and then type in the distance, for example, one-fourth. Now this is extended the right length apart. Here, let me show you. See, it's one-fourth of an inch. I'll leave that there temporarily as we continue. Now that the center lines are located where they need to be, it's now time to finish up locating their extensions beyond one-fourth of an inch. First is trim off what we don't need. So pick trim and hit enter to select the entire drawing and remove the center lines in these little features that are no longer relevant to the drawing. Pick a grip, extend it above the object and type in one fourth of an inch. Repeat that in all directions. There is no fast way to do this unfortunately. So just be aware that this is the fastest way to do it. And do that throughout the drawing. If I've lost a line, I could redraw that back in. That was my error. But complete your center lines, and then we'll continue the video to finish. So let me clean this up here. And now I'm done trimming. I'll zoom in and start extending. And as I said earlier, there's nothing that you can do to speed this process up. This is a drafting standard where center lines extend beyond the object one-fourth of an inch. Sometimes center lines will share features like these lines here. And sometimes you need to trim out things that don't belong. Like you, don't, you would not want to have a center line coming in across objects like that, so instead they'll just extend out one-fourth of an inch from the hole or the fillet. Sometimes center lines become part of a dimension, which you will see happen here later. 
So these will need to extend as well. Now I know you don't want to see a video of me just constantly stretching the center line, so I'm going to tr trim part of this video out. And when you get the center lines all ready to go, we'll move on to the next discussion. Let's review your center lines. The center lines extend beyond the object a quarter of an inch. Like you see here, this one needs to extend out for a dimension that will be here later on. Right side view will look like this, and top view will look like this. Now, how to make your center lines appear. If your features are small, you need to change the line type scale, so you type in LTS, enter, and change it from 1 to a smaller scale. Let's type in 0.75 as an example, and you will see now the pattern, and that's sufficient enough for these center lines. Center lines do not need to have crosshairs at the center of the object since the pattern themselves are always going to be a different length, so it's okay if you see the situation here. And that's how you draw center lines.